Copenhagen Airport, Kastrup or Copenhagen Airport is the main international airport serving Copenhagen, Denmark, the entire Zealand, the Sund region, and a large part of southern Sweden. It is the largest airport in the Nordic countries with 24.1 million passengers per year in 2013 and one of the oldest international airports in Europe. The airport is located on the island of Amager, just 8 kilometers south of Copenhagen city center, and 24 kilometers west of Malmö Paragraph city center on the other side of the Aresund Bridge. The airport lies mainly in the municipality of Tarjena NBY, with a small portion in neighboring Dragadar. The airport is the main hub out of three used by Scandinavian Airlines and is also an operating base for Thomas Cook Airlines Scandinavia and Norwegian Air Shuttle. Copenhagen Airport handles 60 scheduled airlines and serves more than 62,000 passengers per day. 23.3 million passengers passed through the facility in 2012, making it the busiest airport in the Nordic countries, with a maximum capacity of 83 loadings hour and with room for 108 aeroplanes. Unlike other Scandinavian airports, a considerable share of the airport's passengers are international. The domestic part of the annual passengers is lower than 10%. The airport is owned by Carb in Havens Lufthaven, which also operates Ruskilda Airport. The airport employs 1,700 staff. Copenhagen Airport was originally called Kastrup Airport, since it is located in the small town of Kastrup, now a part of the Tarjena NBY municipality. The formal name of the airport is still Copenhagen Airport, Kastrup to distinguish it from Ruskilda Airport, which was previously called Copenhagen Airport, Ruskilda. History 1925-1925, AA Euro CPH opens for service on April 20. One of the first private airports in the world, it opens with a grass runway. 1932-a, 1932-AA Euro 6000 takeoffs and landings in the year. 1936-a, 1936, AA Euro 1939 New Terminal, considered one of the finest examples of Nordic functionalism, is built. 1941 A, 1941, AA Euro First Hard Surface Runway is built. 1946 A, 1946, AA Euro SAS is founded, an important event for Copenhagen Airport, as Copenhagen was to be the main hub for the airline. Traffic increases rapidly in the first years SAS operates. Also, Copenhagen Airport becomes Europe's third largest. 1947 A, 1947, AA Euro on January 26, a KLM DC-3 crashes at the airport after stopping en route to Stockholm. 22 people die, including the Swedish Prince Gustav Adolf and the American opera singer Grace Moore. 1948 A, 1948, AA Euro 150 takeoffs and landings per day, and 3,000 passengers are handled per day. 1950 A, 1950, AA Euro 378,000 passengers are handled. 1954 A, 1954, AA Euro 11,000 tons of freight handled per year. SAS begins the world's first transpolar route, flying initially to Los Angeles. The route proves to be a publicity coup, and for some years Copenhagen becomes a popular transit point for Hollywood stars and producers flying to Europe. 1956 A, 1956, AA Euro 1 million passengers handled per year. CPH wins the award for the world's best airport. 1960s A Euro with the advent of jet airliners, debate begins about a major expansion of the airport. Jets need longer runways than had previously been used, and plans are drawn up to expand the airport either into existing communities in Kastrup or onto Southam, a small island. Local protests ensue and expansion is stalled for some time. 1960 A, 1960, AA Euro on April 30, Terminal 2, also designed by Lo Rietzen, opens. Also, a new control tower opens and the airport handles 2 million passengers per year. 1970s are, 1970s, AA Euro the airport suffers from acute space shortages, especially with the advent of large jets such as 747s. After initially deciding to expand to Southam, 
the project is eventually blocked by Denmark's parliament. 1973 a, 1973, AA Euro 8 million passengers handled per year. The third runway opens and the dual runway system opens, strongly expanding the capacity of possible numbers of starts and landings. 1982 a, 1982, AA Euro The cargo terminal opens. 1986 a, 1986, AA Euro A parking garage with 2400 spaces opens. 1991 a, 1991, AA Euro The airport is partially privatized. 1998 a, 1998, AA Euro Terminal 3 opens, and the airport handles 17 million passengers per year. 1999 a, 1999, AA Euro Baggage Handling System is modernized, and the Wilhelm Lauritzen Terminal is moved 3.8 km down the runway to make room for new terminals, a hotel, and a train station for regional trains opens, 2000 a, 2000. AA Euro The airport handles 18.4 million passengers per year. The train system becomes international, linking the airport also to southern Sweden. 2001 A, 2001, AA Euro A five star Hilton Hotel with 382 beds opens at the airport. 267,000 takeoffs and landings. 2005 A, 2005, AA Euro McWilliam Airport buys 52% of stocks. 2006 A, 2006, AA Euro number of passengers exceeds 20 million for the first time. 2007 A, 2007, AA Euro A metro station opens, connecting the airport to the Copenhagen metro. 2008 A, 2008, AA Euro A new control tower is opened by Navira as part of a major renovation of the ATC system. Airport officials announce plan to build a new low-cost terminal at the facility, which is expected to be completed by 2010. 2009 R, 2009, AA Euro McWilliam Airport is spun off as MAP Airports. 2010 R, 2010, AA Euro the new low-cost terminal CPH GO opens October 31, 2011 R, 2011, AA Euro 22.725.517 passengers are handled. A record high. 2011 A, 2011, AA Euro MAP Airport sold its stake in the airport to Ontario Teachers Pension Plan. 2012 A, 2012, AA Euro 23,336,187 passengers are handled. A record high. 2013 A, 2013, AA Euro voted best airport in the world in terms of route network development at the World Route Conference in Las Vegas. 2013 A, 2013, AA Euro 24,067,030 passengers are handled. A record high. 2014 A, 2014, AA Euro announced plans to increase capacity to 40 million passengers per year, facilities, terminals. Copenhagen Airport has three terminals. Terminal 1 is currently used for all domestic flights. Terminals 2 and 3 handle international flights and share a common airside passenger concourse as well as the arrival section which houses customs and baggage claim and is physically located in Terminal 3. The newest section, CPH GO, dedicated to low-cost carriers opened in October 2010. So far, EasyJet and Transavia.com are the only airlines operating from this terminal, which is accessed from Terminal 3. As of 2015 Terminal 1 will shut down, letting Terminals 2 and 3 handle all flights. An all-new Terminal 4 has been discussed, but replaced by plans to expand the current facilities in appropriate increments. Runways, despite the short distance to the city center, approaches to, and departures from, the airport do not disturb the inhabitants of the city, due to the heading of the dual parallel runway system. Those runways are located very close to the A Resum C, in both directions. The supplementary runway causes no noise problems for landings at runway 30 or takeoffs from runway 12. In the opposite direction, the 30 12 runway has noise restrictions. Other advantages are the low altitude of the airport and absence of hills and high buildings below the approach directions. In case of fog, the runway 22L is equipped with an ILS of Category 3C system, 
which allows modern aircraft to land in zero sight. Airlines and destinations, passenger, notes, one check-in via Terminal 2. Two two-weekly flights from Copenhagen to Bangkok via Phuket. No direct flight in the other way a euro from Phuket to Copenhagen. For some flights operated by Blue One, Simmer Air, or Jet Time. Cargo, statistics. Other facilities, SAS Traffic Office resides at the airport, and so do Simmer Sterlings. Thomas Cook Airlines has both its head and traffic office here as well as a flight simulator center. All these reside at Copenhagen Airport South and in Dragoa, Dragoa Municipality together with a VIP terminal. The VIP terminal building is actually the very first terminal building, from the 1920s. It was moved about 2 km during the 1990s. Ground Transport, Train the airport station is located underneath Terminal 3 on the A Resund railway line. The station is served by a Resund Stojin and trains are operated by DSP first. These trains have a dense stopping pattern in Denmark as local trains between Copenhagen city centre and Helsingoa. The A Resund Stojeng operates regional and intercity trains to destinations across the south of Sweden, Malmö Paragraph, Gothenburg, Kalmar. Karl Skrona and Christian Stodd. DSB, the Danish national rail operator, have intercity and intercity express trains calling at this station. Domestic destinations include Esbjerg, Aarhus, Alborg and Zanderborg. DSB additionally runs trains to border cities of Germany and Sweden, such as Flensburg and Istad, where a ferry connects the station to the Danish island Bonham. Swedish SJ runs several high-speed trains with daily departures between Copenhagen Central Station and Stockholm Central Station and Gothenburg. These train all call at the Copenhagen Airport Station. Metro, Line M2 of the Copenhagen Metro links the airport with the city centre. The metro station is two floors above the underground rail station and continues on elevated tracks until it goes underground after five stations. Road Movia Buses 5A, 35, 36 and Grajenhund Bus Line 999 all stop at the airport. Bus 888, Express Bus to Jutland, also stops at the airport. Movia Bus 2A stops near the airport. There are long-distance buses to Sweden and Norway operated by Swabus, 822 Oslo via Gothenburg and 832 to Uppsala via Stockholm. Go by bus and bus 4 you also operate the same routes. The E20 runs right by the airport. The E20 uses the toll road Arisund Bridge to Sweden. The airport has 8,600 parking spaces. Customers can pre-book their parking space online by visiting the Copenhagen Airport website. 5. Incidents and Accidents 26 of January 1947 a January 26, 1947, AA Euro Douglas, Dakota, PHTCR of KLM crashed after takeoff from Copenhagen, killing all 22 on board, including Prince Gustav Adolf of Sweden. The delayed KLM flight from Amsterdam had landed at Copenhagen for a routine stop before continuing to Stockholm. Soon after the Douglas DC 3 aircraft took off, it climbed to an altitude of about 50 meters, stalled and plummeted nose first to the ground where it exploded on impact. Also aboard the ill-fated flight was American singer and actress Grace Moore. The investigation showed that the crash had been caused by a forgotten elevator gust lock. Short of time, the captain never performed his checklist and took off not realizing the lock was still in place. 17 in November 1957 or November 17, 1957, AA Euro Vickers Viscount GAOHP of British European Airways crashed at Ballarup after the failure of three engines on approach to Copenhagen Airport. The cause was a malfunction of the anti-icing system on the aircraft. 28 in Augusta 1971 a, August 28, 1971, AA Euro Amala copyright v Ilyusha Neil 18, HAMOC crashed into the sea while executing an instrument approach. The main cause of the accident was microburst, a particularly dangerous and unpredictable meteorological phenomenon. Twenty-three passengers and the crew of nine died. Two passengers survived. 
the captain of the plane was World War II flying ace of the Royal Hungarian Air Force, Deza Szentgyi Paragraph a GYI. He was due to retire in less than three weeks. See also List of airports in Denmark, List of the busiest airports in the Nordic countries, References uh, This article incorporates a public domain material from websites or documents of the Air Force Historical Research Agency. AIP Denmark, Copenhagen Kastrup Euro EKCH, VFR Flight Guide Denmark, Copenhagen Kastrup Euro EKCH. External links, media related to Copenhagen Airport at Wikimedia Commons, official website.